Hey, I'm here with our good friend Jeremiah Newton tonight, and he has agreed to chat with me yet again because the last time I visited with you, my microphone, you talked, I talked, but all it did was buzz. <laughs> oh, no. What a disaster. Yeah, so Jeremiah is a dear friend of mine, and I, I cherish our friendship. He's a very nice guy, and he, he, he wouldn't have to waste the time with me if he didn't want to, but for some reason he does. So um, let's see here. You're here tonight. It is a book signing tonight for, uh, I guess, uh, yet another. Warhol's New York City. Yes. This book. Mm -hmm. And who is it by? I mean, I <laughs> Thank you. It's by a great writer. By the name of <laughs> Thomas Kudrowski. Okay. Don't ask me to spell it because I'm not. I'm glad you pronounced it because I still haven't been able to pronounce it yet. Um, let's see here. What what's the latest project that you've got going right now, Jerry? I'm working on a um, a play about my friend Candy Darling, a one a one character play. And um, I think I have the actress who's going to portray Candy, who's an actress from uh, Europe, from Holland. All right. And you're in the middle of working on this right now, and I suppose it's going to take a little bit of time. Do you have any idea when there's a chance that it would be out for the public to see? Well, I think we'll have, a re we'll have readings of it either in the fall or in the winter. I've got to have some surgery done. So um, probably after the surgery, which will be in the winter, okay. it could be uh, 2012. So earlier this spring, you had your one uh, surgery, and you look, I got to say, 100% improved over the last time. You just keep improving every day. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I have a feeling that the next surgery, you're going to be back to your old yeah, self. I, I hope. Um, I had hip replacement, so I had a very bad accident 10 years ago and hurt my legs very badly, my hips, so um, that's what surgery is for. Okay. Now, you've lived in New York, oh shoot, all your life pretty much. Since 1969. Yeah. And you were right in there as one of the, uh, you know, factory people and all this. You're one of the remaining factory people that's still around, still alive and kicking, doing good. Uh, I was a minor factory person. I mean, there are people who were there every day. I wasn't, but I was there, but not every day. What kind of things do you like to do in New York City, just typically? Well, I love New York in the summer because it's so quiet. Everyone's out of town. And I like going to the museums because nobody's around. Or just going to the Strand Bookstore or Chinatown or yard sales with uh, friends of mine. And um, it's just wonderful being in New York out of season. Now you're an accomplished filmmaker. You have an uh, uh, established movie out, an award-winning movie, uh, Beautiful Darling, about your good friend Candy Darling. And that is actually gone uh, nationwide now and been showing all around the country. Um, give us just a little lowdown on the success of that. Well, I, I never taught cinematography. Okay. No, no, but I was the film industry liaison for NYU. Uh, film department for 19 years. Um, the film is playing in New Mexico today as we speak and uh, Chicago and um, in Canada, different places like London, Canada. Who would have thought? I'd never heard of London, Canada before, but it's there. So it's playing all, all over the place. And the microphone, I have it set so it'll pick us up and cut all that out. The only problem is, is we have a hard time hearing each other, but um, anyway, you just had a show at the Pines out there on Fire Island. When's the next time it's going to show again in New York for us? You know, honestly, Colleen, I, I'm not sure. We're hoping that a movie theater will pick up the film for a longer ro r run. We were playing at the IFP on 6th Avenue for a month, which is long for that place. So we're hoping it comes back here maybe in the winter time around the holidays, I hope. Okay. 
Oh. And you donated an awful lot of stuff to the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh as far as uh, candy stuff and all of that. Um, what's your familiarity with that? Is that open at this time of year for people to go see? or? I don't know what their hours are, but it's a museum in Pittsburgh. And there's a room there with uh, my collection in part there. And uh, you could see us on exhibit, and I think you could even see some of it online on the uh, Andy Warhol Museum um, uh, website. And it's called the Jeremiah J, J A Y Newton Collection, which is me. And um, I'm very happy it's there, and they're taking care of it. Uh, any contact information, anything else you'd like to add before we cut off tonight? Well, my film Beautiful Darling is on Facebook uh, under Beautiful Darling. And then I'm on, I'm on Facebook too, uh, Jeremiah Newton. So if anyone's interested, they can contact me or the film through Facebook. Okay, Jeremiah, thank you so much, dear, for taking your time tonight. I always dearly love when we chat, and um, we'll... Can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. Um, my question to you is, I know that you seem to be a big supporter of independent cinema, and uh, why is it important to support up-and-coming directors and independent cinema? What are your thoughts on that? Well, Hollywood is not going to support independent cinema or young directors. I think it's very important for film, for the history of film in the future, that it's constantly recreated by young artists, young filmmakers, men and women, and transgendered people. Because um, they have their own way of looking at things and saying their story, what they want to tell. So I don't think Hollywood gives a chance to any of these people. Uh, it's only the big budget film beginning at $12 million and up, up, up. So um, you've got to get out and make your own films and find venues like the internet to play it on. And I've been lucky because my film has gotten very good reviews, but it certainly isn't in the running with some of these major Hollywood films that make you know hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, a day or a month anyway well it is one of the best films I've ever seen I have to say and I'm a persnickety bitch you know that so <laughs> for whatever that's worth uh, but at any rate um, we will chat again later Jeremiah and thank you so much thank you Colleen thank you very much thank you okay it's Colleen for Starliner events signing off